All right, guys, today, as we mentioned, we're going over soil samples. We have Chris behind camera, and I'm just going to share with you some tips today. Keep it simple. We have a stainless steel spade. One of the important things is to keep it stainless steel and a five gallon depot bucket. Yes, we got some snow, but we're just going to dig down through there as we'll overlap this with some B roll. But the reason we're checking it here is because behind and out in front of me here behind Chris, the, the field slopes down. So you have to think when it rains, you get runoff, all the nutrients in that soil is going to naturally drift down there. So the nutrient level in the soil is going to be higher down there because everything has ran off. This is going to be the least nutrient rich soil at the top of this hill. So we'll get it here. We'll get it over there. We'll get it back on this side and then we'll gather it. And we got some uh, soil sample bags that we'll toss that into and we'll take you through uh, each situation here but that's a good tip there every time you get soil samples make sure you check at the top of the hill because that's going to be where the least amount of nutrients are in that soil all right I just feel me digging a hole here Right, guys now that we this is a little one acre field we collected uh, two to three areas at the highest point now what we do is we have soil sample bags here now, this company is from waypoint uh, this is just a local uh, feed store around my area that uses waypoint as their tester so what we do is I have one that's pre-made here and what you do is you just put your name on it and we're gonna label this field one and then if you want to be species specific all you gotta do is just put on there like this field here is going to be clover alfalfa and chicory we'll put that on there and then that way when they do the test their recommendation will come back and they'll say okay you need this this and this fertilizer for that specific species of uh of plant that you're gonna that you're gonna plant so we just open this up here Okay, so we're at soil sampling and we're digging for our dirt and this is what we dug we dug this up through the snow old tuber this is what they're open this is what they're after this, this time of year they're digging it's frozen but see how juicy it is it's still oh yeah it's still juicy it's got uh, moisture content bite it Whew, a little uh <laughs> is it ripe whew, a little rotten <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. But yeah, this is what's growing under the snow. Unfortunately, today the ground's a little frozen, so they're gonna have, yeah. they're probably not gonna come in here and through the through the uh, it's ice. Hard. It's hard digging with a shovel. But when the snow melts, I guarantee they'll be right back in here. Yeah, should bounce back nice this year. So sample number three, clover field. Definitely green on the right there. So we just completed our soil samples. We got a kill plot here. And over here we have three acres of field. We took all the samples for it. And I'm standing on this year's project. Last year you saw us with a groundhog max. We tore this all up. And we tried planting a little bit, but it just didn't get the sunlight we wanted. So this year's project, Dave wants to hinge cut a lot of this, get opened up, get some light in there. We'll plant some clovers in it. There's a good bedding area behind it. And so you'll be able to see that. 
you'll you'll see that this year as we come back when the weather's a little better obviously we got a snow pack and, and it's ice underneath here and uh, we got the soil samples we got we that we wanted today